on diet this week was literally any food that I could find that was zero waste. Oh wow, it really is jelly-like. That is a weird texture to put on your teeth. I just got in there, saw what I could find and got out. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, I failed. Oh, I don't think I like it. This video is in partnership with BBC Sounds. The easiest way to listen to BBC Sounds podcast, curated music mixes for every mood and BBC radio. Hello, my favorite humans. Welcome back to another video. This one was recommended by Ellie. Would love to see you do a zero waste sustainable challenge again since London has more zero waste shops and options. Climate crisis, let's talk about it. When I hear the words climate crisis, I instantly go into panic mode and then straight to denial. Those are my mental stages of how I cope and deal with it because it is absolutely terrifying. I love that I've started this video off with giving everyone an existential crisis. We love that. So yeah, my way of coping with this is denial, which has a 0% success rate and doesn't get the job done. So I figured I should probably try something else. So Ellie suggested I try the zero waste challenge in London. I have done this challenge before back in Cardiff, but I figured now that I live in London, let's try it here because I'm assuming there will be more options and it might be more accessible. I don't know. That's what we're going to find out this week. This week, I'm not just feeding myself. I also got to clean myself and my clothes. Am I going to be able to do that without producing any waste at all for an entire week? Now that I say that loud, I realize how crazy that is. But is it impossible? We don't know. We don't know. We're gonna be hopeful. It's gonna be a very challenging, interesting week. So we shall see how that goes. <laughs> um, you might just watch me suffer for 10 minutes straight. So content. I think the hardest thing for me personally doing this zero waste challenge is gonna be the preparation. So for example, when I go shopping now, I have to take all of these things with me. Bruh. Like I just don't think ahead in anything in life. I very much just put myself in a situation and just hope for the best. So like everyday tasks like going shopping, I can't just do that. I gotta like think ahead all the time. And I think that's gonna be my biggest challenge because I just know what I'm like. So these are now my shopping bags. And then I have different sizes of containers. I also gotta make sure I don't smash everything. So I wanna start off this challenge doing what I would normally do. So I'm gonna go to my regular supermarket and see how many zero waste options they have and how successful that trip is gonna be. I need to get my toiletries, I need to get washing up powder, I need to get food. Let's go. I drove here in my electric car, so eco-friendly. We're still within the challenge. Last year, I was basically forced into buying a new car. London was bringing in the ULES charge, which is a great thing, by the way. I'm not complaining about it. But basically, if your car isn't eco-friendly, you'll get charged for having it. And I basically had the worst car of all because I had a diesel. <gasps> I know, I know. Just saying that out loud, I feel so guilty. Like, having a diesel car in London is just not cute. But once the ULES came in, I was like, okay, it's time for me to get a new car, basically. And um, I was like... If I'm gonna get a new car, then I want to get something that's fully electric. So, hence this beauty. Now I have a fully electric car, I no longer feel as guilty, and it's obviously way better for the environment, and it's more importantly within this challenge. So yeah, let's go to the supermarket and see what I can get. That's zero waste. Hopefully it's a lot of things, and um, we shall see how successful I am. Taz uses a few containers and thinks she's saving the planet. Bruh. In recent years, supermarkets have become more conscious about sustainability and cutting down on waste. So my hope is that I will have a much more positive experience this time around trying this challenge compared to a few years ago. The easiest thing you could find was loose fruit and veg. Honestly, it was a mixed experience. There was still definitely plastic everywhere you could see. You would find cardboard packaging, but then they would have things like plastic lids on them. So it kind of rendered it pointless. The toiletry section was just a giant fail. <laughs> I think I found one item and that was it. I am now back in the car, but that was a really stressful experience. Lately I've noticed going supermarket shopping is really stressful for me and I don't know why. I don't know if I have developed social anxiety or what it is, but I know I get really flustered in supermarkets now and I never used to be like that. I just wanted to get out of that experience. I have managed to do a whole bag 
of shopping. Whether it's zero waste or not is another question entirely. I'm gonna show you quickly what I got in my food shop from the supermarket. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping there's no plastic packaging in this. Now I don't know that because I can't see it. I got myself a box of cookies because it's all cardboard. Oh, shall we find out? Oh, I feel like there's gonna be plastic in it and it's gonna be, I've already made a mess. Ah, yeah, okay, I failed. So I failed on the first thing because they have plastic. Oh, great, I'm doing a great start to chat. I got distracted by the cookies. I really thought, yeah, they could have put this without plastic packaging. They really could have. So that's a fail. Vegan sausage rolls. Usually there's no plastic packaging inside these. Oh, I think this one's already opened. Maybe let's see if there's any plastic inside. Okay, there's no plastic inside, but it is open and there's loads of salt in it. So I couldn't find anything for toiletries. Like all toiletries was just like a no-go. The only cardboard packaging I found was this, which is a muscle soak radox like bath salts. That's the only thing I could find to clean myself with, but it's blimmin' open. So now all the bath salts are gonna go everywhere. It's gonna go all over my onions. Oh, this was kind of a lucky find. I found an entirely cardboard um, packaged orange juice. Found orange juice. That was amazing. That's a real good find. I'm happy with that one. Now I'm hoping this is recyclable. Widely recycled. Yes, this is good. Got myself a tin of tuna. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these. This is so miscellaneous, this is so random, but I just got in there, saw what I could find and got out. A loose pepper and I got loose onions. It's a mixed bag. It's very much, you know what, that's the best way to describe it. It's very much a mixed bag. I think I did all right. It wasn't a complete fail. I managed to get one toiletry item and I managed to get some food and drink. You know, I thought it would be worse. Man, this is gonna be a long week. This is gonna be a challenge. Oh, my glasses, my glasses. You know what, I really shouldn't be trusted with glasses. I don't even use my cover for my glasses and I just leave them everywhere. It's a miracle that these ones haven't broke. I broke my other ones, but this one is still staying strong. I was starving. I needed to get food in my system straight away. And thankfully, Little's Bakery came through. I got my pizzas. I really hope this tastes good because I am so hungry. You know what? Not bad. The only reason I'm not panicking about food this week is because I have Lidl's. If all else fails and I manage to find no other food, I can always go to Lidl's bakery and it'll always have my back. You can get fruit and veg loose, so I can always get my fruit and veg. It's everything else that's a problem. What am I gonna do for protein? No, I can get eggs, because eggs are in cardboard packaging. <gasps> I should have got eggs today, why didn't I get eggs? You know what, the whole shopping experience, I don't know why, I just went in and I started panicking. I don't even know why, I just got stressed out and then I didn't even think things through, because I could have got eggs, right? Eggs would have been fine, and that would have been protein. This video is in partnership with BBC Sounds. I love BBC Sounds because I am a massive podcast listener. I am listening to podcasts, literally, all day, every day. When I'm eating, working and editing, even when I'm sleeping. I'm currently listening to the podcast Stacey Dooley Fresh Starts. And it's basically a podcast where it shares different people's stories from all different kinds of backgrounds and how they got their fresh start in life. It's something that I personally resonate with because I myself have had a fresh start in life. For those of you who don't know, growing up I studied law and I was kind of going down that path until I decided to have a fresh start. And now I'm doing something completely different and I'm in a creative industry. So I know firsthand how difficult it is to go through that transition. And what's been really nice about this podcast is it's been really nice to hear other people's stories and how they got to where they were. It's quite encouraging at times. It's really interesting, it's really inspiring. I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite moments and recommendations on my Instagram stories. My Instagram is click for tabs. Click the link in the description box to download BBC Sounds and start enjoying all the original BBC content. Today's breakfast is courtesy of Lidl's Bakery. I got a pan au chocolat and a chocolate donut. And I also picked up a loaf of bread. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my water bottle. I only use it at home, but this week, since I'm doing this challenge, I'm gonna take it outside with me uh, so that I'm not using plastic water bottles. It's time. Let's pray there's no hidden plastic packaging inside. Yeah! <laughs> Listen to this. This bread is like a rock at this point. A lot of you guys told me in the comments that if I just soak in water and put it in the oven, 
or in the microwave, it should be okay. So I'm gonna try that. I was looking at the packaging for this and I couldn't find any information on whether it's recyclable or not. Um, usually it will say why, whether you can recycle it or you'll also tell you do not recycle. This one doesn't say anything. But then at the same time, like I'm looking at it and it looks like paper to me. So now I feel like that's the thing with this challenge I've noticed, it makes you overthink so much. Eating and feeding myself has become 10 times more stressful. So we love that for me. This bread is like literally a rock. Right, so what do I do? I just put water on it. Okay, so I'm either gonna get rock hard toast or soggy toast. That water trick actually worked really well. The bread's soft. Let's talk about toiletries. I went to a supermarket trying to look for zero waste options for my toiletries and honestly I found nothing. So basically I've had to think outside the box and source my toiletries from other places. The best zero waste deodorant option I could find was from Wild, which you can buy online and in boot stores, but it was kind of a struggle to find it in reality. I went to three boot stores and was unsuccessful, and then the store in which I did find it, it wasn't even on the shelves. The lady had to go to the back of the store and check the stock. So yeah, not the easiest thing to find in reality. I got myself the Wild. Um, deodorant and this is a massive lifesaver. They're plastic free compostable refills, also super pretty. Ooh, this is fun. So that is my zero waste alternative. This would normally cost £12. I managed to get it on a discount, I think it was £9.60 for me in the end. Comparing that to my usual option, which is just like the Dove one, which is like £1. The zero waste option is more expensive. For other toiletry items, I went to the Lush store because I knew they did packaging free items such as shampoo bars and bath soaps. Now this was a very interesting experience. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my toothpaste. I have never seen toothpaste in this form. Now, you're probably thinking, Taz, these are plastic containers, but before you guys go crazy on me, hear me out. It says bring it back on the containers. Lush has this like recycling scheme. You buy these pots, which are plastic. I know, not great, but you can bring it back and they will um, recycle the plastic. Like they'll keep using it. We already have this plastic in the world, right? It's already been created, but it's gonna be constantly reused. So it's not like adding to the planet. So therefore I feel like I'm still within the challenge, but I don't know. Let me know if that means I have broken the zero waste charge. I mean, I already broke it with the box of cookies, but I don't know. I feel like that means I'm still within the challenge because I'm still recycling it, right? And if you recycle, you're good. Have I broken the challenge or not? Let me know. So this is option number one, and it's like a, it's like tablets. This one is very interesting. Okay, so you can't really see it that well, but this one is a black jelly toothpaste. So that's gonna be interesting to try out. It's a wild time. I'm gonna have tablets and black jelly for my toothpaste. This is my, um, I don't know what you call it, a body scrub? This is actually gonna be really good for travel. This is actually really good for travel. So I actually like this. And for shampoo, I got this shampoo bar. Ooh, that is strong. Very, very lemony. I don't know why I went for this one. I think I went for the color, because I like yellow. Now, I don't know if it's more expensive going zero waste, because there could be cheaper options out there that I haven't gone to. Like I went to Lush which isn't your like average everyday store. I don't know if Lush is like the best example for this challenge, but at the same time, I was desperate and the only option I could find was Lush. It is a bit more pricey than your regular supermarket options. So it's questionable if you can afford it, but there may be cheaper alternatives that are zero waste, but I just wasn't aware of them, so I didn't get them. It is time to try out the black jelly, ooh, toothpaste. Oh wow, it really is jelly-like. That is a weird texture to put on your teeth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my toothpaste. I'm not crazy about the texture. It's a really nice taste. <laughs> it's quite sweet. It tastes like you're having sweets and it does make my teeth feel clean, which is the most important thing. So, you know what? It's actually not that bad. I'd give this a solid eight out of 10. Okay, it is time to test out the shampoo bar and the shower oil. It is hot in here and I look like a wet mop, which we love. I have just washed my hair with the shampoo bar. I thought my hair would smell more lemony, but it actually has no scent to it. So that's disappointing. On to more exciting things. We are gonna try the 
toothpaste tablets, which look like candy. I've gone for the pink one. What you do with these is you just bite it and then you brush it with a damp toothbrush. Oh, it's really soft. It's like really, oh, it's powder, it's powder. Okay, I, let's brush our teeth. Oh, I don't think I like it. Oh, that is a weird, it's really like powdery and foamy in my mouth. Oh, it's so pink. That's cute. Well, it's not a spit. Why did I say that about spit? I definitely prefer the jelly over this, for sure. This one is a lot messier and it's just uh, not as enjoyable. And it doesn't taste as nice. The jelly one was really sweet. This one just tastes like, uh, like I got washing powder in my mouth. I'd give this a five out of 10. I Googled what the most sustainable supermarket in the UK was. And surprisingly, Lidl came on top. And actually, when I did a food shop, I found it was pretty easy to find items with recyclable packaging. When I looked online, it turns out that Lidl is actually one of the best places to do zero waste shopping because they have a lot of like recyclable packaging. So I managed to do another bag of shopping and I got a bunch of fruit and veg and stuff like that so that was successful that was actually really good I managed to find lots of things um, which had recyclable packaging and spice packet mixes which is gonna really save me this week so um, very happy Lidl's once again comes through I think it's time to change the game plan because up until now, I've been relying on doing all of my zero waste shopping at your regular supermarkets, um, places like Lush and Boots, which are stores available all throughout the UK. I wanted to at least try this challenge going to your everyday places, but I'm still struggling to find certain things. For example, pasta. Lidl's do pasta in cardboard packaging, but it has like a bit of plastic in it as well, so I couldn't use that. So I've decided to look into zero waste stores, which are stores specifically designed for this lifestyle, plastic free. I found quite a few options in London, so that's great. So yeah, I'm gonna go to a zero waste store and hopefully that'll sort me out for the rest of the week. I went to the Source Bulk food store and oh my God, it was like walking into zero waste heaven. Spices. There were so many different options to choose from. I didn't even know what half the stuff was, but I appreciate that it was available to me, all nicely displayed. And then we just take it off at the end. So after you've weighed it, oh. you can just like... Go. So I just write this down? Yeah, so 138 grams. They also sold shampoo, conditioner, oil, washing up and laundry liquid that the staff member helped me with. It was a different but positive shopping experience. Everything was sold by weight. My washing up liquid, which I had before I started this challenge, um, is nearly finished. But luckily I have picked up some washing up liquid from the zero waste store. So once that's finished, I'm gonna fill it up with this. It is now washing up time and I picked up some laundry liquid from the zero waste store. So we're gonna test this out. Gonna do a whole wash and see how we get on. It smells like oranges, like really strong. Okay, I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to put in. I don't know if that's too much or too little, or even if that's the right compartment to put it in, but I've done it now. It's done. All right, we shall see how that goes. One thing that I didn't take into account when I first was doing this challenge is how much I would have to go out of my way to get certain things. Like for example, the deodorant. The only option I could find was the wild one and they only sold that boots. So I had to go that extra mile. Like I had to go through that effort just to go to that one store to get one thing. And like, if you live a busy lifestyle, you don't have all that free time. If you're someone who's busy all the time, I don't know how that would work. Also, another dilemma, I, this, my tripod no longer works and I need to get a new one, but I can't just go and buy it because that's gonna produce waste. So like, what do I do when things in life happen and you need to replace them and you can't? There's only so much preparation you can do in life, right? Sometimes things just happen. And what do you do on a zero waste lifestyle? I don't know. Like I literally just cannot get a new tripod this week 
on this challenge. So lots of things are happening and I don't know how to deal with them. I think the hardest part of this challenge is just how restrictive it is. Like when I would be faced with a challenge, like my tripod breaking, I didn't know how to fix that problem. I just didn't buy a tripod this week because I couldn't do that. But like, what would I do normally in that situation, right? It's not an easy challenge by any means. Also, update on the clothes. They have now been washed and I am very much putting off hanging them out, but I will do that now. They actually smell pretty clean. They smell pretty good. So um, that was a success. I am... Um... Just getting ready to make some spaghetti. Well, I guess it's not spaghetti bolognese, it's pasta bolognese. This is the pasta I picked up from the zero waste store. And then this is the meat I got from the butchers, but I asked him to put it in a container as opposed to his usual packaging, which was a bit awkward, but you know, the good thing about getting meat is it's already out. So you just gotta ask them to put it in a container. But yeah, so that's, what I'm making now. I started panicking because I remembered to get spices, but I completely forgot about salt because I guess I don't usually go out and buy salt or every single time, right? So I completely forgot about that. But this was in my cupboard and I've just done a quick check and it is widely recycled. So it's recyclable. So I can actually use it and um, we are still within the challenge. Well, hey, every time, every god dang time. Let's cry more cooking. Oh, I'm not even joking. I'm genuinely quite terrified to try it because I just don't want it to be bad. Oh, oh, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not amazing. I feel like I can taste the meat. And it's making me feel a bit funny. It's okay. If I just like chew in two seconds and swallow it, I'll be all right. I have been trying to convince myself that this bolognese is good. And honestly, it's getting worse with every bite. I don't know what it is with me cooking meat. When other people cook meat, I can stomach it and it's fine. It's only when I cook it that it tastes so bad. And the thing is, I don't have a lot of food to work with this week, so I can't be this picky. Unless I just go to Lil's Bakery again and get pizza. That's basically my diet this week, is Lil's pizza. Clearly I can't rely on my cooking because I'm not doing well. It is currently one in the morning and I'm just chilling here having some chocolate because who needs structure and stability in their life? Clearly not me. I've got through like half of this packet and this chocolate is so good. I think it's my new favorite chocolate. But yeah, would highly recommend. It's actually really, really good. My diet this week was literally any food that I could find that was zero waste. Any food that had recyclable packaging, I just got and I just made do with that. There was no pre-planning. There was no thought. There was no meal plan this week. It was literally just, Recycle packaging or Lidl's bakery. This challenge has been very confusing. It's been a struggle. It's been quite challenging, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I tried my best, I still don't even know if I did the challenge correctly. Like that's how confusing it is. I actually don't know if I was successful or not this week. I mean, I tried my best, but whether that was successful or not is a whole story entirely. I feel like this week was really all over the place. You basically just watched me <laughs> struggle for an entire week and try to figure it out in real time. So instead of going to one supermarket to do all your shopping, you've got to go to like seven different places. It's not as convenient. It ends up being more expensive. It ends up being more time consuming. And even then, I wasn't even entirely sure of what I got was zero waste. I still don't even know if I did it correctly. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section below. I tried, that's it. That's all I can say. A for effort, hopefully. But yeah, that has been me doing zero waste for a week in London. Also click the link in the description box to download BBC Sounds and enjoy all the original BBC content. I'll be sharing all my BBC Sounds updates on my Instagram stories, so definitely check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know that you matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.